Today we're going to discuss the efficient way to make a grocery list. Before you change the channel, I can guarantee that if you shop, this will help you save money. Think of all the things you can do with that extra money. I like to do what's called the three column method. I take a piece of computer paper and I fold it into three columns, as you see here. Column one is my general list. My fruit, my vegetables, my dairy, my bread, everything that I need. Column two is store one prices. Column three is store two prices. Now, the benefit of having multiple stores is that different stores have different things on sale each week. Just look at your local sales papers. Now that you're in the store, it's time to price compare. Let's say store B marked in their sales paper that they had hot sauce on sale, but you get a store A and hot sauce is significantly cheaper than store B's sales price. Guess what? You just save more money than you originally planned to save. Bonus. Another benefit of writing out a shopping list is that you can set a budget for yourself. By being able to see the prices you might spend or estimate the prices you might spend, you set that budget. Now you're in the store and you realize your numbers were off a little bit. Guess what? Because you have this list written out, you can do process of elimination. What do you need? Hot sauce is mandatory. I'm letting you know that now. Hot sauce does not leave the list. But things like apples can leave the list or peanut butter can leave the list. But hot sauce is mandatory. I just want to repeat that one more time. And another sidebar about budgeting. Every phone has a calculator, so you can add while you go. So that way when you get to the register, you know that your products are around 89.37 about without taxes. And those are just a couple of grocery shopping tips that'll help you save money and save time. Organization is key. Hashtag adulting.